This video is brought to you by Elmer's Products. An automaton is a self-operating machine made out of materials like wood or paper. There are so many cool designs out there that makers have come up with. For beginners, there are free downloadable templates, which are a great way to learn how the mechanics work and get a feel for the art and design involved. When you're ready, you can then create your own original design, like artist Doug North. Wow, that's amazing. Today I'm showing you how to make a paper Mario Brothers automaton from a Nintendo template. You will need a cutting mat, an X-Acto knife, scissors, and an Elmer's glue stick. First print out your pieces and instructions onto cardstock paper. You're going to need those instructions, so cut them off and treasure them. Carefully cut out each piece with your scissors or X-Acto, depending on the size, and put them aside. For the complicated small parts, cut the excess paper away in pieces. Continue to cut out all of your intricate details of your pieces, making sure you check in with your reference image and instructions along the way. The first thing we're going to put together is the main structure, the box. Fold the white tabs in and add a strip of glue to them. Fold and glue to create your cube in a similar way we created the pyramids for the 3D paper sculpture. Put a little bit of pressure on the glued tab and paper and gently press on the seams and allow to dry. All templates will vary, of course, but if your cube is like mine, it has two parts. Place the three panel piece inside, aligning the bearing. To make Mario's coin box, repeat the same folding and gluing technique, but on a much teeny tinier scale. Now you have your two main structures. Take the brown rectangular piece with two small white star shapes. This is your axle. Fold down the white triangular pieces making the star shape, and repeat on the other side. Gently roll the rectangle around a pencil into a tube. Once you have the general shape in the paper, add glue to the white tab and the star tabs and roll it up and press together. Take the side tabs and tuck the little glued triangles into the tube and press the circle into the tube opening to close it. Take one of your snail cams and put it onto the axle. Take the other snail cam and add glue to the back. Place it on the axle and press the two together. Allow for your axle and snail cam to fully dry before the next step. Put together your remaining pieces. Helpful hint, you can clip pieces together to keep them attached while drying. It worked really well for this little hand crank. Glue the three small oval pieces together with the red sides facing out to make your crank arm. When you have all of your pieces assembled and dry, start adding them to the structure. First add the ceiling tubes for your cam follower to fit through. Check and make sure your cam followers fit into the ceiling tubes before you move on any further. Take your shaft collar and glue it to the right bearing. Put the axle through one bearing, then add the snail cam, and then put it through the other bearing. Next, add the red stopper to the left bearing. Take the drop ceiling provided and align the triangle holes to the white tubes. No need to glue, just put it in place with a toothpick. Attach your Mario and coin to the ends of the cam followers that have the white tabs on them. Make sure the front of the cam followers are facing the same way Mario and the coin are. Glue the hand crank to the crank arm. While that dries, add tiny slits in the center of the end of the cam follower holding Mario and the coin. Just a small slit that will allow it to rest on the cam. When Mario and the coin are dry, put them through their respective white tubes in the ceiling of your structure, aligning the slits with the cam. Take a little glue on the end of a toothpick or bamboo skewer and add a bit to the seam of the axle and the cam so that the cam followers can stay rested on top. Allow to dry, and voila! You've made a self-moving machine. So basically, a robot. For a labeled diagram of all of the automaton parts, check the link in the description below. This Mario is just one example of how cool an automaton can be. There are so many rad designs out there. What would you make? 